welcome everybody back to the YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing the first uh, video in the series on this new engine build. Uh, it's going to be a twin turbo uh, Dart LS427. Um, today we're going to be doing a half inch head stuck conversion and we're going to walk through that process. Can I show you all what all it takes to do that? Um, go through all the machining steps, uh, very detailed, uh, so you can kind of see behind the scenes of um, what all goes into doing this kind of work. Um, so if you want to follow along, we'll get started. So to start off, I just kind of want to show the difference in a standard LS head stud for one of these dart blocks. And then this is the half inch stud that we're going to be going to. So you can see it's a good bit thicker, um, quite a bit stronger. Um, it's definitely going to allow us to have a little bit more clamping pressure, uh, less chances of um, Blowing a head gasket and stuff because it's getting a better clamp, better seal. Um, so next we'll get the block set up on the machine and we can get going. So we are using a uh, regular vertical mill machine. Uh, we don't have a CNC machine to be able to do this yet. Um, so this is how we go about doing it. Uh, we have our bar set up on the mill. Then we have these locating rings which we have different sizes to fit the main housing diameter for different blocks. And uh, we will get our block set on here and we'll put a cap on the front and rear just to kind of hold it. We'll get the deck level and then we can get set up and start doing some drilling and tapping. All right guys, we got the block set up on the machine. Uh, we've got it leveled and getting ready to um, go over kind of how we start lining up on our bow holes and getting them drilled and tapped. So one thing that I've made, I've made this little tool right here that we can chuck up in our spindle and then I've turned the end of it down so that it will fit tightly into our threaded holes and that will help us pick up the center of each hole. And once we get it to where it'll slide in and out without any kind of drag or anything, we know we've got it centered. So at this point, we can take our centering dial out and we can get our drill bit for a half inch tap set up. And for this, they are shallow blind holes. So we don't really have to worry about depth too much. We can just kind of go till we hit the bottom and then we can um, get up and kind of chamfer the top and then get our tap ready. We got our chamfer in there that'll help our tap start a little bit better and it should leave us a little chamfer at the top after we've done tapping so i always like to start with power tapping which is having the tap in the machine it just helps make sure that we've got a nice straight uh centered thread and then once we get it started i can take it out and we can finish it by hand
looks like our tap might be a little on the dull side. We might need to change that out. Last thing I like to do is I like to make sure that the stud does still thread in and check our depth. Looks like we need to hit it with a bottom tap.
All right, guys, so we got the first side finished. We're gonna flip the block over and get started on the other side. All right, guys, we've now finished up our half inch head stud conversion. We got all the holes uh, drilled and tapped. And one thing I do want to kind of show you at this time is that there is some grooves in here that we've already cut for fire rings in this block. And the heads have already been matched. I don't have a video of that on this particular block, but we will. Uh, put in a clip of another block that we've recently done that we did get some footage of just so that you can kind of see what all goes into that process and uh, how we do our firings here um, thank you for tuning in um, this concludes this video um, if you would like like the video comment subscribe obviously click that little bell so you'll be notified as soon as we upload videos and we will see you next time